Hi guys, so this is going to be a combination of two days, yesterday, Monday, and today, Tuesday's 99 cent store haul. I've honestly have not been going. I probably had not gone in like three, four days, which to me that was a long time because I usually go pretty often, almost every day after I leave my little one at school. But I just haven't been feeling all that well and the days I did go, I didn't find very much. So just as a reminder, if you have nothing nice to say, you don't like the way I haul things, or this is simply not your cup of tea, I can totally understand and you can simply click off. As I mentioned in the past, um, I don't want any negativity in my channel. This is my channel, so if you leave a rude comment, just know it will be removed. So anyway, getting started with the haul. So I did find some Hostess ho -hos. Um, So there's 10 individually wrapped cakes and these don't expire until April 22nd. We finally, or I finally bought some more popcorn. As you can see, one of the packages is actually already gone between yesterday and today. My microwave decided to die last week in conjunction with my vacuum, which some people might think that kind of sucked. It did, but I love buying appliances and especially a vacuum. So Liliana, Liliana from It's a Deal, her channel it's called It's a Deal if you're watching. I love vacuuming, so I am totally with you. So I was super excited to actually go buy a vacuum. More excited than most people would think. Anyway, so I was not keeping popcorn in the house because my little one loves popcorn and I just didn't want the temptation. And it was like a couple of days before I figured out what microwave I wanted. So that's that. Finally got some popcorn. Today they had some of this Kraft um, Parmesan cheese. This is eight ounces, so I did grab four. I left plenty more in the shelf. And then for that comment person, which I don't even remember her name, um, that said I probably cleared out and I was so greedy for taking all the coffee. Yes, they had some of this Yubin, I think that's how you say it, dark roast, 11 ounces coffee. So I did grab two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 11 canisters because I still have not been able to find any K cups other than the K cups that are like the brand that the 99 cent store usually carries that have like I want to say like two to four little K cups. Um, so I just rather buy this and I still have not like found the K cups, the actual K cups. So this made me happy as well. So yes, I stocked up. Did I clear clear them out? No, there was still plenty more there. Next thing I found were these um, pepper midge, or how do you say that, pepper ridge farms, um, goldfish, which are the whole grain cheddar. And these had a pretty good expiration date. They don't expire until um, May 28th. So I did grab five bags of those. And then today, I had not seen this. Um, so might be, might not be new at all. They had this pasta sauce, Italian whole cherry tomatoes with chili peppers. And it honestly looked really good. Um, obviously that's something they don't carry often. And it does not expire until July 31st. And it just looked really, really good. Um, so I did pick up two of these jars. And I like it's made in Italy, all natural. I will not even try to pronounce that brand, but I did grab two of those. And then they still had quite a few of these um, 66 bags, 13 gallon, tough and sturdy kitchen bags. I had hauled these in a previous haul. These are $1.99 like I'd mentioned. Um, they're working pretty good. I can't and I think that's pretty much with any bag. Even though these say tough and sturdy, I can't like completely fill up my bag but that's okay because I try to take out my garbage as soon as it gets filled because I can't stand garbage in my house so these are working pretty good and I mean for 66 bags for $1.99 it's a lot better of a deal than the bags I was buying at the Dollar Tree which were a bonus box was 10 bags to a box for a dollar so this this is obviously a much much better deal I had seen some people on Instagram show this, um, 
can't even pronounce the, the brand Barriel Professional. So it's an exfoliant. Um, it's basically a skin polish expo exfoliant pomegranate. And this is obviously $1.99. I looked this up and it was coming up in different websites um, for like 10 bucks. So I figured I bought two. I figured I'd give it a try. It does not seem to be as abrasive as like I'm usually accustomed to. Like I like an abrasive um, scrub. I use one by the brand, um, what is this called? It's a more natural brand and it's a very, very abrasive. But to me, that is like the best of the best skin, like scrub, face scrub that I have found. This doesn't seem to be as abrasive. Um, it's more gentle. But I still wanted to give it a try. So, because I bought two of those. Today, they had these um, Pantene Split Fix uh, Instant Split In Repair Cream. So this is basically, if I was to compare, it feels like the 10 in 1, which I use, I have and use. I also have the one by, um, not Alterna, it's the brand Caviar by, the, it's being sold at Sephora. I really like that, the it's a 10 being the second. And I just thought I'd give this a try because I use that stuff every day in my hair, even though I have like straight hair but I still have some frizziness if I don't put some sort of product in my hair right after my shower um so I figured this was pretty good in Pantene you know this is not a dollar at say Walmart Target and it's for 5.5 5.1 ounces so I did pick up three of those and then just my usual um big quality paper towels I call these all pretty much all the time and I really like them. They're really good paper towels for a dollar. And you can kind of cut depending on what you need. And then just I just bought some um, straws because my little one's always taking my cute paper straws that I have by my coffee area. And, you know, those I can't get in a pack of, what is this, 80? So I just bought him his very own plastic colorful of 80 straws so hopefully this will solve the problem of him getting my cute paper straws so yeah so that's that and like I said not very much um, probably the most exciting thing was the Pantene and the coffee so I have been kind of toning it down as far as like not buying as much because I still have quite a bit to go through and there's been, like I mentioned in my previous video, there's been some expenses that have been coming up that were kind of unexpected, but they have to be taken care of. And yeah, so not that like I need anything from the 99 cent store because I have pretty good stock, but it's still fun and I still like finding really good stuff, obviously at a really good deal. So that's that. So I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday wherever you guys are at and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.